Marta Bronca. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election. Would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain, too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference.
Oh god, what happened? I stepped away for like two minutes. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse apps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. What am I supposed to scan here? They left literally seconds before the attack. That looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Hold it, stop right there. Hold it with me, please. Let's speak to the mayor, chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. He's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. <laughs> Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming at your ass. Conference. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Nah. Seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister, later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could've. <laughs> well, well, well. Thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Hold 
Nothing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. <laughs> Clever. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. I'm glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. All good. I Sorry. mean it. Just go with the floor. Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. I want to eat a 
a place called Chubby Buffalo. Sounds delicious. Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Han. Mind if we step off to the side? Han and me, we're like one mind. We've got no secrets. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. He can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee? Listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Han's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Han's not a fan of anybody, except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because... You got a good heart? Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. And before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial? On the hush hush. Perales could just be scared. 
Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. <laughs> Sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. What is that sound? Yeah, I didn't sound bugged. Alright, we're not we're not gonna listen to that. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh... Last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right, wait here then. Oh, you. You looking for uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck, no. Said I was done. I was out. Alone, all of you. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. No. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. <laughs> I don't know! So fucking remember. And make it quick. All right! Jesus! Chill, I just okay? punch him with gorilla fists. Outside city limits. Surprise he's not dead. Benita Street area. You been there? Not telling you another fucking thing. Kiss my ass. Both of you. Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Morvoth's employer. 
one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that leap drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We're gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. Care of it proper. Dumbass thought he'd get in with a nomad. so much better. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. How about we change tacks this time? Ask questions first, then level threats. The other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Judy. So, you got a plan? Damn right I do. Hang on, gotta go. We were talking about... Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? A and A, artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips, turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the right. Mm, no way. I'm a tech, not a miracle worker. What? Just give me the cells. I won't make them myself. Man, I don't have to do anything for you. If you don't like it, find someone else. Christine Markov. Where do I find her? I don't know her. Find something? Uh, not get out. Christine Markov, we have some questions. 
You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pater, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. For the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AB, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches. What did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why do you have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for him? Besides Ryan? A Madame President, mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was his son's turn. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my Cleon's health. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Fuck off, Kitty Claws. V. Fuck off. What the fuck? I'd handle it. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Uh, gotta report this. Okay. We're at Queen's Race now. First, I gotta clean up the mess you made. We'll meet there. Ah, shit! Really? It's not increasing though. Still 20 30. Wouldn't be crazy if it does increase. <laughs> like only people who pay attention to that screen actually notices. And if you do too many side quests, uh, you die because you didn't do the main quest in time.
Wouldn't that be hilarious? Wait for river. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. But you... Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch. You find anything, tell me. Okay. God. Take so much to level those up. Ah, uh, hello. Fuck off. Not. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race. Closed. Not opening anytime soon either. So it's fine if I have a look around inside. No, it ain't. No looking. Just delta the fuck out of here. One C E nine. Looks like a normal body shop to me. The club's here. I'm telling you. The fuck is that? Tell me you got a hunch? Cop intuition? Something like that.
smoke the ass maggot out! Got spotted. Okay. Hang on. Be right there. What? I'm getting too old for this. I did not get spotted. Neil what? doesn't tend to lie. I'm scared. So the clubs are out here somewhere. In the garage is my guess. Or under it. I shot him in the head. Okay, whatever. Whatever game. The fuck is that little cunt stay? Break your skull. Thank you for opening the door, I guess.
Ah. Shit. V, you okay? My. V, come on. You hear me? Breathe. Ah. Oh. Thanks for leading it to action back there. No problem. You feeling okay? <laughs> I'll live. What was that, V? You asked me. Won the heart attack that killed Ryan. Yeah, as I said from the start. But <laughs> someone spiked his BD. That's what killed him. Fuck. I think you could be right. Come on, V. Looks like an office. Sort of. Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Yep. Stiff as a board. You ask me, he's been dead at least an hour. No. No trauma cut. Pretty sure he didn't bring it on purpose. A uh, club like this, you don't want TT banging down the door when you're banging away and things start to heat up. Hard, probably. Must have gotten a little too heavy and messy. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. No way. You didn't yep. think of a security yes. camera? All right, I'll buzz you later. Wow. Pathetic. And he's a cop, too. Idiot. Weird. Guy looks familiar, doesn't he? V? I'm not in the mood for jokes. Think we've seen everything we needed to. Let's go. Okay, let's Delta. Think I saw another way out on the way in. idea how this city works. Think a goddamn inspirational idealist bullshit actually means something? It doesn't. Never did. Hey, don't look at me that way, Merc. You know I'm right. Not from here. Came from nowhere. Ah, nomad. See, the NCPD? That's my family. That's my clan. You just don't break with your family. You don't turn your back on your people. Yeah, family comes first. Can't argue with that. The city eats anyone who tries to go it alone. V, appreciate the help, but this isn't your biz. We'll take care of it. How are you gonna do that? Am I under arrest? Got a scroll, got a motive, got your confession. So yeah, you could be. But it wouldn't make much sense. You don't even gotta say who ordered you to go and clean up. I know anyway. So since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights though. Just go home, Ward. Get some sleep find all this easier to take in in the morning. I mean, that's my plan. Fuck. <sighs> Han 
was right, sort of. He's just following orders. Even if he ends up paying for it, the system won't change. I can't let it go, V. I can't, and I won't. Holt murdered Ryan. Wanted his seat. All this tritest motive in the book. That's why I believe it. Use the NCPD to cover his tracks. Even if that's what happened, I don't have any solid proof. Got a BD that somebody spiked. Just gotta figure out who. And that, I think I can do. Taking this to internal affairs. Got enough to get this case reopened. Don't do it. They'll sack you. Or worse. Besides, it won't change a thing. Could be right, you and on. But I couldn't give a shit what you two think. And you? Gonna report back to the paralysis? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. So, about Ryan. Got a pretty good idea what happened. Great. Come by, please. It's a sensitive matter. I'd rather discuss it face to face. We'll be waiting. There's a significant lack of fighting in these type of things. V? We're upstairs. Thanks. Just gonna tell you one thing. Probably gonna be more than one, but all right. Don't tell him nothing. Don't get involved. This muck is deeper than you think. Suck you in if you're not careful. I'm always careful. Fine, do whatever the fuck you want. Not like you listen anyway. True. Hello, V. Please, come in. Make yourself at home. Jefferson will join us shortly. I think she's the one that did it, but she wants to put her husband into the mayor's seat. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Good to see you, V. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. I'm all ears. Look at that power couple. It's not 100% clear what happened. Hardly anything ever is. But? Yeah, I got some idea. Huh. V? Ryan was murdered at a sex club. Someone gave him a virus spiked BD. You sure? Yeah, same BD almost wiped me. So yeah, I'd say I'm sure. Got any idea who did it? Oh, damn. Can't say for sure, but a lot of things point to Weldon Holt. I knew it! You got any proof? I don't. Just, uh, strong suspicions. That's all we need to know, Jeff. We have to be careful. Keep a close eye on Holt. And up our security. 
You're right, as always. You're right. Thanks for your help, Fee. Your Fee. You two watch out for each other. Jeez, 11,000? Hey there. Now, where did we leave off? It's not a self-playing piano. Right. We'll return to this. Are you still there? And the conference? Did you manage? Will we be in City Hall? No, no, no. Jeff was a council person until very recently. He has oh. just as much of a right to use that space as Ryan. Get it done, today. We are not pushovers, we are not going away. The conference will be at City Hall. Hmm. Next time, I'll do a different one. I mean, I'm gonna probably do two playthroughs of this, at least. Well, maybe three, depending on um, how different each playthrough is. Do these ever change? You know what? Might as well try it. I mean, next playthrough, I'm not going to do, but oh my god. Oh, that's stamina. There. Animals knuckles. Hmm. 